Two Egyptian belly dancers were arrested on Wednesday in a crackdown by the government. The International Business Times reports on this. The women who have been accused of inciting debauchery were ordered to be held for at least four days for questioning. They were arrested at a nightclub. A preliminary police investigation found the, the women appeared in immoral videos performing dances full of sexual insinuations. They're facing a year in prison. Wow. So think about this. They're, they didn't even say these women engaged in sex acts on camera. They said immoral videos full of sexual innu innu insinuations. So they didn't, it wasn't even like sex, it wasn't, it, nothing like that. They were just like dancing in a salacious way. And they're looking at a year in prison. A year in prison. That's beyond insanity. So last year there was a crackdown as well, and a woman got jail time for a strip tease that was on YouTube. It was so tame it was on YouTube. So if they're leaving it up on YouTube and nobody flagged it, it's got to be fairly fucking tame. But they decided, no, we're going to crack down on that too and give you jail time. They even gave the guy who filmed it a year in jail. They tried him in absentia because he fled to Tunisia. But his defense, get his defense, because this is even sadder. He goes, no, 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 no. We weren't trying to do something sexual here. It wasn't a dance or anything like that. What we were doing was a spoof on Western culture. Yeah, I know. If any Egyptian person has ever been caught, you know, watching belly dancers or looking at strippers or whatever, what they're doing is they're mocking the fact that it's those evil, horny Westerners who uh, enjoy sex and like looking at naked people. That we're not like that. We're good Egyptians. Us, sex? <laughs> sex. Sex. Stupid. Who cares about sex? We don't care about sex. Yeah, I'm sure. And when people are having sex to make kids... I'm sure you, as you're doing it, you're not actually enjoying it. You're doing, we're, we're mimicking and mocking the evil Westerners because they enjoy our sex. We fucking hate our sex. How is this any, how is anybody accept this in the year 2015? How does anybody accept this? No, you're a human fucking being. You know how we got to this point where there's billions of people on the planet? We all fucked. You want to know why? We liked it. It felt really good. We enjoyed it. We like looking at naked bodies. It's what we do. We're human beings. Nothing can be more human. Nothing can be more natural. The genetic drive to want to reproduce. But in so many cultures, in so many societies, everybody's like, No, you can't just stop it. It's evil. It's bad. It's wrong. Why? Nobody ever gave an argument as to why. They just assumed, like, everybody agrees. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's wrong, right? It's bad, right? And a lot of it comes back to religion, let's face it. All, you know, all religions where... It, they look at a human being as somebody who's defective. There's something wrong with you, and you need to, you know, uh, make up for the fact that you're such a, a sinner, and you need to live a life that is the opposite of what your natural urges and inclinations are, and that makes you more pure. Fuck that! It's all made up! That's all made up! Now, I'm not saying you should quit your fucking job and do an orgy all day every day. That would be swinging the pendulum too far in the other direction. But, is there a healthy balance somewhere in there? Where you can enjoy sex, you can look at naked people, so on and so forth? Absolutely. And of course, uh, even the guy who recorded the video of a woman doing a dance, uh, he got, he was found guilty, again, tried in absentia. He's guilty of disrupting morality and inciting debauchery. I'm so against stuff like this, man, I can't even tell you. I, I'm in favor of flipping the argument completely. So you know what that means? I would say to the people who are enforcing these laws, you know who's disrupting morality? You're disrupting morality, because you know what's immoral? When you throw people in jail for being human beings and having a, a sexuality, you're the criminal here, you're the problem, you're the immoral ones inciting debauchery. In other words, doing stuff that people enjoy. <laughs> there it is right there. Uh, I've had enough of this. And finally... Sisi is now the leader of Egypt. 
Now, I don't want to go into the entire history of Egypt in modern times to get into all the nonsense here, but there was a dictator, Mubarak. Mubarak was overthrown. Mohamed Morsi was elected. He's the Muslim Brotherhood leader. He drafted a constitution which was too pro-Islamist, so there was like a second revolution slash coup that happened. They got rid of him, and then Sisi took over. Sisi was the general. Now he's the president slash kind of a dictator in, in Egypt. And the whole point, I mean, think about it. They said about Morsi, oh my God, he's too socially conservative, he's an Islamist, that's why we got to get rid of him. But then Sisi gets in there and he does the same things that Islamists do. Fuck sexuality, we're gonna, you know, you're disrupting morality, you're inciting debauchery. What was the point of overthrowing somebody who was an Islamist if you're gonna act like an Islamist as well? Yeah, exactly. You have no answer for that.